Hi, this is Sarup. Today we will see the working of LED with AC source and we will explore every circuit web platform. So first of all, what is LED, right? Light emitting diode and it has a cathode, anode and the circuit looks like a diode but those two arrows it indicates that it is light emitting. And this is how a typical LED looks like. Usually they have two terminals, sometimes it can have multiple terminals as well. They come with different colors. Sometimes we get IR LEDs, UV LEDs as well. Now let's open every circuit. And here first I'm taking a DC source, testing it off. Let's take a register, testing it off. Okay, I'm rotating the register here. And then let's take on LED. Okay, it's here. And let's take the ground place it at the down now let me wire it okay okay put this to the ground ground to the diode and now let me just little bit readjust it so that it looks neat and clean okay okay we are done now let's uh, run the circuit so to simulate the circuit <coughs> you need to press this T here okay so as you can see the current is flowing and we can see the amount of current 1.35 microampere I am opening the oscilloscope or the monitor there on the top so you can see the amount of current which is very less 1.35 microamps so that's why you don't see the LED let me increase the source voltage now so okay 5 volts not glowing okay the LED started glowing remember we now we are working with DC voltage source and soon we will be changing to AC okay so as you can see that as we are increasing the voltage the current is increasing and if you notice carefully I have put a 1 kilo ohm registers right always we connect one register parallel sorry in series with the LED right to limit the current because remember LED is a colored current control device and if we pass higher current at some point of time the LED will burn see here the LED got burned here right so these typical LEDs uh, normal <coughs> they can tolerate about 40 milliamps of current so 37 milliamps it's fine but as we keep increasing the voltage they may burn right so always keep one <coughs> resistance series with the LED when working with LEDs right so this is a typical 12.6 volt I took now let's replace it with the AC source so I'm placing the AC source here and let's reconnect the circuit wire it done done okay so let's run it and as you can see it is AC right it is a time varying and if you see the current so only in the positive half of the cycle the LED conducts as you can see right because LED is nothing but a PN junction diode so it conducts the current only in one direction right so I am just um, yeah we can see that it's glowing and now let me change the frequency to little down towards the realistic like line frequency you get 50 Hertz right so 60 uh, now it got 50 Hertz so as you can see uh, okay need to change the time scale because we are simulating it right so yeah at this time scale we can see that LED is going on and off it's because it conducts only in the positive half right now let's see uh, yeah it's conducting so it's at 50 Hertz and and you can see the current there it's maximum around 30 milliamps or so yeah and now what we can do is we can take another LED here and place next to it okay and then let me just uh, rotate this LED so that we can uh, connect it in opposite polarity right okay done so let's run the circuit again and see okay so as you can see now they are glowing alternatively 
and you see the flow direction of the current it is one side is the clockwise and anti-clockwise so in the clockwise direction the led one glows and anti-clockwise direction the second led glows right and you can see that in the uh, in the so uh, oscilloscope on the top you can see now let me change it to the red color second one yes so you can see one is red and another is green and their current also you can see it right on the monitor on the top now let's me increase uh, not the frequency sorry let me increase the voltage so if i increase the voltage a little higher values you can see the both the led got burned those uh, checkered symbol that means the led got burned right so we cannot increase that much now <coughs> in our line frequency line voltage is 250 volts can we run an LED? Yes. So we have to change the resistance, right? So we're increasing the resistance value. As you can see, when we reach about uh, about 7 kilo ohms, you can see both the LEDs are glowing nicely and the current is also within the limit, safe limit, and they are now fine. But yeah, if you reduce the resistance, they are they may get burned, right? So safely we can add a 10 kilo ohm resistance in series with the line to 20 volt and then you can connect an led and they will definitely glow now will this led will glow constantly when you connect direct to 220 volt ac source by a resistor no as we see in this uh, animation or in this simulation that they will be flickering right our line frequency is 50 hertz so the led will be flickering or turn on and off 50 times per second but in practice in naked eye we cannot see it it's because of the persistence of vision like your eye and brain return a visual impression for about 1 30th of a second the exact time depends on the brightness of the image and this ability to retain an image is known as persistence of vision so 130 of a second that means about 30 hertz right so our line frequency is 50 hertz which is more than 30 hertz so we cannot be able to distinguish whether the LED is on and off or constantly on but I will show you a trick where you can check that LED is really flickering so stay tuned so now I am on my phone and let's open the camera app and I'm focusing a distribution board which has got a LED indicator and now we need to open the professional mode of the camera so that we can change the exposure level so let me change the exposure level to the minimum and you can see the LED is started flickering because when you reduce the exposure mode exposure less at that time what happens is the CMOS sensor which is present in the camera the integration time reduces right so it's the LED start to flicker and the camera can capture the flickering because the integration time is smaller hope you like this video so if you like this video please subscribe the channel and share it with your friends and I'm signing off